Hi, I'm Moshi, and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a symmetric grid on Adobe Photoshop CSS. And yeah, you can just go ahead on Google and just type symmetric grid and find any template um, just for the guiding purpose. And the reason why we, we're going to be using a template because we are actually going to be redrawing it, recreating it as an Invicta shape that would allow us to um, increase the size and to change colors and stuff like that so based on on the size of the paper sheet that you're going to be working on so go ahead um, find any template I mean like any any one of these will be fine just copy the image copy go to Adobe Photoshop and just go new and control V for paste and you're good to go but um, since I have already, you know, set it up one here, so I'm just going to use this one or this one. It doesn't really matter. So anyway, um, what you need to do is now on your tools. If you don't see tools, just go to Windows, scroll all the way down here, and click on Tools. Of course, you know. So there we go. And just click on the shapes right here, and just draw um, square. Now to get perfect square you have to hold them in shift so you can't if you see it without not holding shift so you know it won't it won't basically draw a perfect square so hold the shape the shift and there we go now what we want to do is um get rid of um um would you like the line the borderline or whatever and just and um, just do a flat color any color that you like so um Obviously, I'm just going to go ahead image mode and RGB color because it, I mean the setting was um, in black and white because of the you know the image that we copied. So I anyway, don't find it. So now we can change the color of the the shape. So now what we need to do is just um, rotate it to minus 45. Control T and hold shift to get perfect rotation like that and you can see it on, on the settings it says minus um, 45 and then click on enter so we have an you know nice perfect but so once again control T now but this time we just want to drag it from the top or from the bottom downwards like this for instance but we don't want to make it that flat so what we, what we want to do, we want to um, position here. Actually, know what? Yeah, let's undo and let's um, um, make it zero, opposite zero, and just right here with this pen to click on it, then that will just give us this nice line, so we can actually see and make it look perfect. So I'm just going to put it right there, see, right here, right there, and then just control, and just drag it from the top or from the bottom, doesn't really matter. So go ahead and just put it there, and then just bring this right here. Do the same from this one as well. And I'm mean going to like, you can just move it aside, just make sure that it's nice and and perfect but I believe what we're doing okay I think that's about right this yeah definitely yeah there's something a bit fishy about this document it doesn't look 100% accurate but we can just take this one and test it onto the this one here and see how it will look. Same process once again, just all right. Just going to opposite minus zero and get the pen. Control T. All right, let's just I'm going to right here, right there, and right back. Yeah, see, like this one is 100% accurate and perfect as you can see. It just fits in right in the box, unlike this document that um, 
I just copied it from the Google and I pasted it. It seemed like it's not 100% accurate or, you know, like a true asymmetric or whatever. But this one, it is. So I'm just going to bring out all the 100%. You can hide the guide. Now we have it. So, like, uh, this is one way of doing it. The easy, you know, it's really easy and it's really fast and quick. Now, what you could do from here is actually, um, I'm actually going to make it a bit smaller, probably about that size. All right, and then click on that shape and just change, give it border and get rid of that. Now that we just have that and just control, I'm mean, holding the control and just click on the layer here, not where it says rectangle one, just here, and control C to copy and control N to open a new. Okay, no, wait, copy the background actually, layer one, and then new and say okay, and just go ahead. Oops, let me close this one. And go ahead, just drag Control D to get rid of the select, and drag the rectangle shape into this doc, this layer, this document, or new layer, new window, whatever you want to call it, and just paste it there, and just double check the, you know, it's perfectly nice, and get rid of the background. You can duplicate if you just want to get nice, thick, dark. Go to Edit, and default define pattern and give a name whatever you know just I'm just gonna call it one 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 and okay get back to your original um, document or window that was click on the background just gonna rename that to background and just now we need to go to click on this icon right here blending options and go to pattern and let's find this is the one we actually we created which is um 111 yep as you can see it's 111 and say okay and we can hide this one and now we have it here now i mean like this will just trade it doesn't matter how large is your document or how big your document is going to be this is just going to keep repeating and go on and on and on and on so this is one a good method to use it and, and, and of course you can um, go beyond and, and advance like you know add extra lines like how we have it here you know we've got this straight right on the center in the middle so um you can do the same but yeah this is about it and you can easily just update this is, I mean, like you can increase the size, change the colors, and then just make another pattern and just check in there. So I hope this tutorial, you know, been helpful. And yeah, man, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.